morning. What a beautiful morning out here in the desert southwest. I am Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. We're doing a wonderful breakfast this morning. It is something that all your pizza It's a breakfast pizza. And I've gone ahead of time and done some things ahead. What I have done ahead of time here is if I'm home up in Wyoming, I make my own pizza crust. But you know, Pillsbury's pizza crust is pretty doggone handy. And what I did this morning is, is I shaped it around my 10 inch pie plate and kind of formed an edge along here. What I'm gonna do is just lift this off. And there we go. And now I'm gonna put my ingredients on top. What the ingredients are today, and you can do variations on this, but of course, my husband, the cameraman, and I both love onions and peppers. So I've gone ahead and chopped up some onions and peppers here. And probably a half of a, yeah, it was a half of a green pepper, half of a yellow pepper, and half of a onion, a medium sized onion. But there's so many variations that you can do with this. It's just kind of what your personal taste is, what you like. And of course, I always do this because I've cooked my whole entire life. I always do a little bit too much. Of course, my husband's grinning. Okay, she'll be doing something with this. Yes, I will. Anyway, so there we go. That's probably enough on that. And you can use whatever kind of meat you like on yours. What we did today is I had some finely diced ham. But I have also done it with breakfast sausage that I've gone ahead and and cooked ahead of time and and crumbled it and so we're going to go ahead and put some this wonderful ham since how we love ham especially my husband there I'm just going to just pile it on I'm going to pile on the ham he won't complain about that one I'll tell you oh. and then what I love to do is um, have some fresh basil that I've chopped up here this morning. I carry my own little basil plant with me because you know I love fresh basil and it is so easy to grow. So I'm going to go ahead and put this and this does not have to be finely chopped. As you can see. Of course our wind's going to help me and blow some of it off but you know that's just dealing with what we have to deal with. And then the final step that I'm going to do is Put this in my 10 inch Dutch oven that we're doing today. And then I am going, and we're gonna leave it right on the parchment paper because when it gets done, it is so easy just to lift this out. That was one of the other reasons I went ahead and measured my plate. Of course, it's gonna kind of rise up a little bit, so it won't be exact. So I am going to show you putting this in here and then I have whipped six eggs together with a table, excuse me, a teaspoon of black pepper and about a half of a teaspoon garlic. You've got to have that little bit of garlic. Like I told you, it's going to kind of overlap here a bit. And then we're going to bake this at a higher temperature today, probably around 400, 425. Of course, that's another job my husband does, the cameraman is he's got those briquettes already going. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour my eggs on top. And we'll kind of fold that parchment paper, you know, up there. So I'm going to pour my eggs on here. Boy, this is so simple to do, I'll tell you. And what a wonderful breakfast. Yeah, and as you can tell, this is breakfast for two if you're hungry or if you're not. I don't know, are we hungry this morning? Well, I am. Oh boy. Yeah, we've been out hiking this morning and hiked about five miles, so I guess we are hungry. And we are going to enjoy this. And now I'm going to put on our cheese. And this is just a pizza blend that I like to use. You can use cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar works really great. So I'm gonna sprinkle probably about a cup on here. You know, if you're watching your calories, you might as well forget it because this just doesn't happen when you're doing something like this. 
I sure hope you're enjoying this with us today. We would love it if you would subscribe because every Tuesday we put out another wonderful fun video and we have a lot of really great ones out there and when you subscribe that does not cost anything. Some people get a little confused and think it's going to cost them something. All that does, if you hit the little icon bell, it alerts you that Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking is putting out another great meal. Okay, we're going to get this on the briquettes and we'll show you how wonderful this is going to be in just a bit. Okay, our pizza got done and it took about 25 minutes. And I wanted to tell you that if you go to the description below, the complete recipe's there, the time is there, and my husband, the wonderful cameraman that's in charge of the briquettes, will let you know how many briquettes was needed to do this because we cooked it, we baked it at about 400. Now I'm gonna show you this really slick trick. You just lift it out by the parchment paper. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh boy, I can't wait to try this. I slid the pizza off on our plate here. Now we're going to slice this and have it for breakfast with a wonderful cup of coffee. We sure hope you enjoyed this with us today. Of course, you know our motto is great food shared with family and friends. And we hope everybody else out there is having a wonderful day. Like we are living the life, living the dream that we all want to do. And everybody has good health until we meet again.